What is up, YouTube? It's MC John, and today, yes, I'm on my phone. Um, I don't want to be, but I don't have a laptop that's working right now. So, anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you, be showing you how to make a survival castle. It's basically a castle that you'll be able to use in Minecraft survival mode to defend against mobs and whatever. I mean, I'm not doing it in survival mode because I'm not gathering resources in pocket edition. Um, I'll just put back that grass because there's no pick block button. Anyways. So what you're on, gonna wanna do is find a nice flat area like I have here. Break any grass. At least there's less grass on bedrock edition. So I'll just break all this. Alright, so these are what you'll need for the vi for the build. I forgot to record this in, in the original video. So you're going to need um, stone brick, any kind of doors, any kind of wood, any kind of fences and fence gates, um, stone, uh, slabs of either stone brick or cobblestone, whatever you're using to build it, and another kind of slab that's also stone. Um, torches, a shovel, seeds, potatoes, ladders, uh, wool of your favorite color. Um, now obviously you won't be able to get these spawn eggs in survival, so you'll need to lead them into your castle. And also you need water and a hoe. And I'm pretty sure that's everything I used in this castle. If I missed anything, just let me know. Anyways... Nice. Okay. So now what you want to do is get whatever kind of stone you have. Normal stone, cobblestone, stone brick, any of that. I'm going to be using stone bricks. Um, but if you don't want to get a silk touch pickaxe or spend an hour smelting cobblestone, that'll work and it'll look just as nice. Okay, it will look worse, but whatever. Now, to build the castle, you're going to start. want to start by marking out the corners. So... Even if you want it to be a perfect square, you're going to want to have, obviously, have the walls be, like, a rectangle. So, just go however many blocks that you want, like that. Make sure they're aligned. I think they are. Now, go however many blocks out this way. Again, there's something that you can decide the dimensions of the castle is not really going to affect how how you can build it unless it's obviously too small. Alright, this this works. No, it's kinda small. Hmm. This is way too small. I'm gonna expand it a lot. Yeah. Right, this is good. So you're just gonna wanna make this as big as possible with the amount of flat space you have. And if you really want, you could do some like terraforming, I guess. If you don't have, if you don't have enough space normally. Okay, now that you made the corners, you're gonna start building the walls three blocks high. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay. Here's the middle block. Okay, now that I found the middle block, I'm just gonna build an entrance under it. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go, perfect, and... Now you're going to want to get slabs of whatever you've built this out of. Or maybe some for some variation you could use like stone slabs or I don't know what. I'm just going to use stone brick slabs. I suppose you could also use stairs. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I'll just do it like that. There you go. It's a nice little entrance. If you want to build door, put like, you could put 
you could fill this in too and put doors here if you're worried about mobs. But really, there's, I'm going to build a keep in here. And then you won't have any problems with that. Now, break all these dirt blocks I used to find in the middle. Now, you're going to want to start on the towers. So what you're going to do for the towers is break the corner. Now, place whatever building block you have around it, like this, up to three. And after these two, which is going to be space for a door, you're going to put these. Then you're going to break these two, like this. Now, build one, two, three more. One, two, three, one, two, three. So this is going to be six blocks tall, this tower. I suppose if you want, you could also make this whole thing taller. Now, on top of the tower, I would recommend using a different kind of slab. So I'm going to use um, stone slabs for this, which is probably something that you'll have access to if you have stone brick. And if you don't, you could just use cobblestone slabs or, I don't know, andesite slabs or whatever. And there you go. Now, you're just going to want to repeat this process for all the towers, so I'll just go and speed that up. Alright, that's the towers done. Now, wait, why is this a darker color? Do you see that? It's a little weird. I don't know what to do about that, but whatever. Now the towers are done. Um, I'm gonna add, like, doors and stuff, but I'm not up to that yet. By the way, I completely forgot about making a materials list. I'll put that in at the end of the video. Materials list. Alright, now that we have these done, we're going to want to take our slabs and make little crenels along the castle top. This is completely optional, just for like style, I guess. Alrighty, now that I've done the crenels, I'm going to add a um we're gonna get started on the interior first thing you want to do is again remove any grass in this area then get doors of whichever kind of wood is in your area i'm doing spruce for the aesthetic but obviously since there's oak trees around here you might want to be using those um kind of a problem here i don't know what to do about this uh Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, I'll just place these in here. Then do it like that. There you go. Now you're going to want to add these all over the castle um, in some sort of pattern. Right. And, of course, add ladders, which I'll do after. Okay. This is coming along pretty nicely. Okay, now for the ladders. I'm going to put these in here. Alright, ladder one. I, I can't place it. There you go. Oops, forgot this one. Okay. <clears throat> Next set of letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Okay, placing letters is really annoying on this version. Hmm. 
Next one. All right. Last set of letters, or maybe second to last. I don't. I don't know. I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Please have ladders. Yep, there's ladders in here. Okay, now what you wanna gonna hmm. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make either plat path blocks or use cobblestone and gravel if you have the time. I'm too lazy, so I'm gonna be using path blocks. So I'm just gonna grab my trusty diamond shovel and make a little path however far out you want, leading in. And now, first, before I extend this path, I'm gonna wanna get started on the keep. So we're just gonna find the middle block here again, which should be easier once we've done the kernels. I think it is here, this one. That's the middle block. Extend out. A few blocks, depending on the size of your wall. So I'm going to extend out one. I'm going to extend out one, two, three, three or four. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Extend out four on both sides, if you're copying me exactly. And then... Break these and fill these in. Oops. Okay. Now you're going to want to extend out again relative to the size of your build because this isn't a very exact tutorial. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Just enough that it leaves a lot of space for all the farms I'm going to put in. Six. Yeah, that's good. And find here one, two, three, four, five. Six, and now what you're gonna want to do is leave out these corners, and then built you have your middle area, right? Very nice. Now build it up to this height, and make this the same height as the towers. Now go and fill it all in. I'll just speed this up. All right, nice. Now that I've done, now that we've done that, you're gonna want to fill in these kernels over here. Very nice. Perfect. Two, three. Now you're gonna want to use either slabs or plain blocks and fill in one block below that the roof out of actually wood. I was, I want to say. So go find whatever kind of wood you have near you. I'm going to go with oak. That looks the best in, cla in castles, I think. And that's going to make the floor for the roof of the keep. If you want, you could build a flag up here. But I'm not really up to decorations yet. Nice. We're also going to put in some lighting, but not right now. Now you're going to want to make however many floors you can fit in here. I can only fit one floor, which is kind of a design flaw, but whatever. Um, what you're really going to want to do is make a basement somewhere. Actually, I'm going to put in the lighting right now. So, I don't know. I can't find anything. Torch. Boom. Okay. You're going to put torches in the corners, actually one below the, f the roof, unless it's a two block high roof, then no. That looks nice, I think. Okay, that's good enough lighting for now. You might also want to replace the, the floor in here if you have the resources. So I'm just going to quickly do that and speed it up. All right, now that I've filled in this floor, I'm gonna wanna fill in this one too, put in a spruce door. I think that looks nice in this castle. Now, you're gonna wanna put some ladders, uh, I'll say on the side here, in the middle, like that. If you want, if you're feeling fancy, you build a staircase, but again, I don't have room for that because I'm building a small, small castle here. Nice. 
No. This is the base where I'm gonna put all my stuff. Well, what I'm gonna do is make a basement actually not right there. Um, opposite the ladders. Dig down. Um, where are my ladders? There they are. And build up here. And then you could put a, you could dig out here and build a base there. Again, that's only for building such a tiny one as I am. Otherwise, you'd have floors, another floor up here. It is terribly designed, but my point is, if you made the castle taller, there'd be more floors here, and on, like, the second floor, you can make a base. Um, otherwise, you can make a basement. Uh, I don't really know what to do about that. Anyways, now you're going to want to make a path leading from here into here. Um, again, if you want to be, like, fancy, you can use gravel or cobblestone instead of path blocks, but I'm too lazy for that. So, I'm just going to do this. And now you're going to start, you're going to want to put in space for your farms, which is the survival aspect of this video. So, if I go and get water bucket. Where do I get a water bucket? Got it. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna have to be like symmetrical about this. Right. Mm hmm. One, two, three. And then. Now, put the crop of your choice here. Um, I would say wheat or whatever else plants you could find. Um, wheat seeds. Uh, I don't know what else. Carrots, potatoes are good to plant. Nice, okay. Wheat on one side, carrots on the other. I mean, potatoes on the other. Nice. Now for these. Now let me just set the tick speed higher so this looks nice. Should be able to do that. Here. Boom. There you go. Nice. Our farm is growing. Perfect. Um, now I was gonna say put a fence around here, but there's this like wall. Oh, it won't be that much of a problem. So now put a fence around your farm so you don't accidentally trample all the crops. This is basic stuff. This doesn't even have to do with the castle so much, but you know. And then fence gates all over so that you can get into it, into the farm. All right, nice. Oops. Perfect. Okay, now, now I actually do need my fence gates. So I'll put them right here and find the middle. I think it's here. Can I shovel these? No, I can't. Oh, I can actually. Fence gates over there. And I do have a problem with this area is blocked off, so I'm just going to put a door, a little side door in here. Uh, oh, right, my ladders are there. I'm dumb. Okay, okay. 
This is not good. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, put this all back and all right, now I'll put my door a little in the, in the middle, like here. Perfect. And I should. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Now you can get around easily, and I should also put fence gates here. Okay, I don't really know what to do here. I'm gonna, oh, I should put a block in the middle so you could travel between the farms easily. Right, nice. Okay, so I'm going to be putting one fence gate here. Or, no, I'm gonna put it here. And another one here and the fence here now going to make a path This works, this works, okay, this is a good path. Next, on this side, you're gonna wanna make a animal farm. No, no reference to the book, animal farm, okay. So, following the same dimensions as the other one. From here till the wall. space right there right good suppose you could make this a little smaller so I don't, I don't know oh and make a path from here to from this door till here and another path here till here okay my phone's gonna die soon not good all right, next, put in one fence gate here, and one fence gate here, and make a path to the fence gates. Right, nice. Now I'll make a divider in between the two farm areas, and put a door here, which I forgot about. And put a fence gate here for you to get across. And another one here to get in from here and make another path. Okay. It's coming along okay, but not actually okay. It's coming along pretty badly. Um, now you want to have to lead in some animals into this farm, which would be pretty hard to do. So I'm just going to spawn them in. If I can find the mob eggs, where are they? I don't know, this bedrock edition stuff is really annoying. Okay, cows and pigs and stuff. So I'm just going to put cows in this farm. Pigs in this one. Whatever. And... Now for the last part, the flag want to get some more fences and some wool of your favorite color. I don't know. I'm going to do blue. And go in the center of your roof here. Build up. And build your flag like this. Or 
actually I'm gonna make it look even more detailed by going like this. Yeah. Um, all right, that's our castle. Subscribe to MC John. Please subscribe. I have like no subscribers and I need subscribers. So subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome videos. Just kidding. This video is terrible. Um, leave a like and... Okay, there you go. Send the video. Goodbye.